five thousands of salamanders. If you guys don't know, salamanders are those little lizard-like things, very small ones. People sometimes keep them as pets. Thousands of salamanders have been observed by naturalists, and none has ever been found to be warm-blooded. We may conclude that no salamanders are warm-blooded animals. Okay. We have any conclusion indicators. Hey, there's an obvious li one there, right? If you look at that beginning of that second sentence, we may conclude that. Sounds like it's indicating a conclusion. So we're going to get a conclusion after that. We may conclude that. Got to get it in the right place. That's a, a conclusion indicator. No salamanders are warm-blooded animals. So that looks like a conclusion. We're going to underline it. And we have thousands before that. Before we can conclude, looks like we'll have the, the premises, the reasons supporting it. Thousands of salamanders have been observed by naturalists. And uh, none has ever been found to be warm-blooded. Sounds like another premise. So thousands of salamanders have been observed by naturalists. Two, no one has ever been, no, none has been, none has ever been found to be warm-blooded. Therefore, three, no salamanders are warm-blooded animals. Okay, you guys finish put it in standard form. Let's move on to number six. In the past, every person who has ever lived did eventually die. This suggests that all human beings are mortal. Do we have any premise or conclusion indicators? Well, how about in the past? Not, but this suggests that, tells us that what's following is what is suggested or what we think of as a conclusion. So we mark that off. This suggests that as a conclusion indicator all human beings are mortal as our conclusion so we underline it and the pre it looks like what's left what's what's supposed to support that is the claim that in the past every person who's ever lived did eventually die now notice it doesn't say that i died i still might be immortal the rest of you will have to fend for yourselves okay and let's move on to the last example that was assigned since architectures, architects are regularly study engineering, Frank Gehry did, I think that's the way you could pronounce his name, it could be wrong, for he is an architect. Okay, so since architects regularly study engineering, Frank Gehry did, I guess, did study engineering, for he is an architect. Any conclusion or premise indicators? Well, we have two. We have the word since. Now, since tells us that there's a reason coming. Since something is the case, that that's the reason for something else. And for also, something is the case for what's coming is a reason for what preceded that. So it looks like in this case, we've got two premise indicators. So we're going to put the premises in parentheses as we've been as we've been requested and that only leaves with Frank Gehry did in other words he studied architecture so it looks like that's the conclusion and it looks like we're given two reasons two premises to get to that conclusion okay so those are the seven that I assigned for you to do before taking a look at these videos if there's some time remaining, I'm going to give you some additional exercises to do. If not, we'll do some in class because I want to make sure that this sticks. This is really, this part is very important to be able to find conclusions and premises, identify them, and to, um, to be able to put these into our standard form for arguments. Numbered premises, line followed by a number conclusion.